guys we had ourselves a nice weekend and let's start here with our short interest uh, like I said Friday uh, it was building it's building up right it was here we saw a couple days ago it was at these levels and we started to come down remember the name the name of the game <clears throat> is to shake people out right fake people out Build the shorts. We were talking about that. Build the shorts, and then you just stop them out as the price goes up, right? Price goes up, short interest goes down. So now we're down here. So it makes sense that we uh, we start to rise. You know, our moving averages have uh, come down. You know, our 50s still a little up there. You know, everyone ignores the 100, right? Uh, 200 is down. You know, in the last week we've been around here, but we're we're over that now. So, you know, all, all in all, pretty, pretty good. Uh, we could, you know, this is within striking distance right now. And there was something I actually saw in Bloomberg News that uh, for the first time the guy gave me a good stat. Um... Five out of seven times uh, when there's a death cross, Bitcoin goes up 30% before it comes down. So let's keep that in mind. You know, overall volume was low for today. Um, the good news was we did see uh, price rising on rising volume. That was positive. Um, you know, again, these are always good zones. I like to buy when the volume bar right on this type of chart is above the price for me that just more times than not just seems like a great opportunity to uh, get in there let's take a look at um, you know longer day view here you know if we look at the 30 day here uh, last 30 days you know volume isn't exactly um, right we've had one two three four five six six days with more volume so while it is a nice rise um you know it, it could be stronger you know like on those other days so it's a good sign but not you know not so it's it's not necessarily over but again if you also look here good time to buy good time to buy good time to buy right even this would have been a good time to buy. Had that run there. Run here. Almost touch here. You would have got that run. I uh, would have bought into that slide. Bought into this. So I don't know. Looks like someone's loading up for a run to the upside. Too, many, uh, too much draw on here. I'll get rid of that. So again, uh, last hour or so, the volume uh, from what we're going to look at the chart. Again, these would all be... Uh, Excellent buy opportunities down here. Maybe look where the volume is low. It's good, good sell opportunities. It's just interesting. And uh, you know, here we have we have pretty excited volume. You know these. Anything above 500,000 on the 10 minute is, is pretty good volume. You know, here we have twice, three, four. These are very close, but three times, a couple more approaching it. So this was a, um, this was a high volume uh, moment here recently. So let's go look at the chart. All right, here we are in the 15 minute. Oops. One minute, you know, here we are again, 34.8, that infamous line. Uh, we did a little peekaboo there. What is that? Uh, one minute, we got a, um, a bearish engulf. You know, it's kind of silly on the one minute. But, you know, again, we got that pattern. We're coming up, coming up, bounce off of it, bounce off of it, then teeter down. You know, I, I set some cells up here. Uh, I sold here. It's a tiny bit here, a little bit here, just kind of like as it's going up, catch the back end, set a lot of 
So I was thinking, um, go to the five minute. You know, we'll get some corresponding action to, to these levels here where you get a little resistance. So, but, but, you know, here we are at this level. And what's interesting is we have, we have this nice bar here. So we're, we're sort of at the point where, hey, you get above this line and find support above 34.8. And it's like, it's one of these, okay, we're going to hit the top of the range. We fail to find support below here. And now we're, we're still in this trading channel. I think we're going to, we're going to hold we're gonna hold here um, in this box, right? This box is gonna extend over into tomorrow morning. Monday's gonna Monday's gonna dunk it down, and next week though will be will be a run to the top of the range. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't play with this. We've got these incredible bars. You know, we had this we had this test here you know I really thought for the weekend we were gonna see you know a little bit more uh, you know something up in this range but again we're right there where we could play off we could run up how far can we run up here run up you know, it's down to 50. Actually, let's go to the 30. Really to that yellow line. So in a couple of days' time, could hit you know thirty nine. You know these these dash lines you might notice down at these levels. They're kind of like intermediate resistance that you'll see. See in this box here. Zoom in. Price will just you know kind of kind of get rejected. Kind of run into it, run through it, and then fall through it. Um, you know, that's going to be somewhat of resistance. But I think we're going to, I think we're going to fake out. We're going to see this pattern again. And then after that, after that pattern... Run for real. Like they got to build or, or, you know, or they built so many, so many long positions back here. You know, they're letting, letting this low volume day sort of run it up. Pulling, pulling a couple bulls, bring it back down. Hit those shorts, get those shorts committed in here. Extra committed down here, dunk it, come up and and hit the hit the pedal. 